this video we're going to look at how to make a really simple website. We're going to use brackets which also uses Chrome to show you what you're doing. I love brackets because it's so quick and it really makes making website easy. When you open up brackets make sure that you've gone to file, new and made a new file for yourself. Make sure you've called that file index.html and that you've saved it somewhere very safe. When you've done that click on the lightning button which is your preview button or your live preview and what that will do is open up a Chrome window and that will show you what you're typing on the left live as a website on the right. Now I've made my windows appear left and right so that I don't get distracted by anything else. First thing I'm going to do is start off my website with a exclamation mark capital letters doc type small letters HTML and close that tag off. That's really important because it tells Chrome or Safari or Firefox that this is a web page it's looking at. Next thing I type in is HTML and that means that now everything I type in this is going to be a HTML code which means it's a website. Next thing I'm going to do is press the tab button. Now the tab button is the button above your caps lock button and next to your Q what that does is it moves the mouse in a little bit. This is a really good idea for when you're typing any type of code as well as HTML code. What we're going to do is put in a head and inside the head we are going to put a title and this title is going to be this is my web page. When I press save you're going to see on the right hand side that the tab inside Chrome changes. So that's the title of my web page. And you're quite used to this when you go to Facebook or when you go to Google, you'll see that this tab always has the name of the website you're on. Now underneath head, we've finished with that, we're going to start with our body. Now the body is where everything in our website is going to go. So we're going to put our text, our images, our tables, our buttons, and anything else that's in our web page is going to go inside the body. Let's start with a title which is a h1 and let's press save and you can see that this is a title. H1's a nice big writing that really shows up well. H2, this is a subtitle of course so it's a little bit smaller than a h1 but it still looks pretty good. And now I'm going to type in some normal text which is a p for paragraph and this is what you normally use when you're typing in text on your web page. You would use the P tag. Let's press save and you can see that's a title, subtitle, and that's our normal text. So of course you can type more in for your normal text. You can put more H1s in and H2s in and it's a really good way of getting your website looking kind of organized. Now let's go and put a picture on here. So what we're going to do is go IMG SRC. So that's image source what we want to do is now find a picture. I don't have a picture to put on, uh, not inside my computer anyway, so I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to type in the word tree and I'm going to search for pictures and I'm going to go for this picture over here it's from the Wikipedia. I'm going to right click on it and I'm not going to copy the image because I'm not going to put it into Photoshop or GIMP, but actually what I'm going to do is copy the image URL. What that means is I'm copying where the picture is on the internet but not the picture itself. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back to brackets, go inside those two quotation marks and paste in what I just found. I'm going to close that triangle. Let's go back to my web page in Chrome. And if I now save my brackets page, you can see that the tree is now inside my web page. Uh, I find it a little bit too big, so I need to make it a bit smaller. So let's go into our image tag. Let's go just inside the end of the image tag, press the space bar and type in width. And what I'm going to do is make that 250 px pixels. Press save and you can see instantly my picture is smaller and the page is looking actually quite good. It's not a web page yet, but at least we've learned how to put in the HTML tag the head and the title tag to take care of the tab over here. We've then put in the body tag to make sure that everything we do will appear in this page here. We've used a h1 tag for a title. 
we've used a h2 tag for a subtitle and we've used a p tag for normal text which is paragraph text and lastly what we did is we put an image inside our web page using an address and also using the width to make sure that the picture was the size we wanted it making sure that we've ended everything with a end html and end body there and that's how you get started making a really simple web page